Hello world, I'm Rich, and it's Rich's World Beer Tour. Hey, I got something special tonight, I hope. Um, was up at the store and saw it. It's out again. I loved it last year, although it caught me off guard. Love child number five from Boulevard Brewing, Kansas City, Missouri. Uh, it's an annual. I only got involved last year with number four. 8.2% alcohol. I happen to have some love child number four from last year. Now last year it was malt beverage with 50% aged in whiskey barrels and 15% aged in wine barrels. Um, the Here's what you were getting last year as far as the funk, what is it, the funk, the sour, and the fruitiness. And here's this year. So you can see a little bit of a difference. There's no barrel aging in this, uh, like number four. It just says sour ale. Um, our series of wayward offspring marked by such cultural influences as lactobacillus and bretomyces. Um, this is best by February of 2017. I've got one in the cellar already. If this is good, I'm gonna get more. I've got some 14, obviously. Uh, so maybe next year a little vertical. Um, last year it was tart, it was funky. If you go back and watch that review, um, that's one of the funnier, I think, first sips I've ever had. Um, so they toned down the alcohol, kept it out of the barrel. We got more, what do we got? We got a lot more funk, we got a lot more sour, and we got a little more, uh, a little more fruitiness. So uh, let's give her a go here. Looking forward to this one. I think I send out a couple of bottles of this stuff to uh, a couple of reviewers around the country. Hopefully uh, go back and find, uh, or I sent out number four. Well, this has got a little head. Last year there was nothing, no head on it. Check that color out. Yeah, you're, you're not looking into the sun like I am. Um, a rusty, rusty orange. Um, that's the, probably the best way to, to describe it. Some brown, it's rusty orange. Little head on there. It smells like tart cherries. It smells like rhubarb. It smells like funk. Uh, just a little barnyard, but a ton of rhubarb. Uh, a ton of sour cherries. Stir up a little something here. Ooh. Try that again. Ooh, man, that's. I gotta try. I gotta try for a third one here. I, there's something there. Yeah, when you stir it up like that, it's like a uh, musty pumpkin. The first time I swirled that I was getting like manure and I thought no way does this smell like manure it's like a musty pumpkin you know you've had that pumpkin uh, with the candles in it for a few days too long and it's been warm out otherwise there's some tart cherries a uh, little rhubarb in there sit back and try it we're out at the fire pit tonight uh, sitting on the water cheers everybody Wow. Now, I was going to say this is mellow. I'm, I'm doing one more sip before I give some, uh, some opinions. You get a little bit of funk, and it's smooth. It's funky, then smooth, and then there's just... It's like a champagne, a dry champagne, cleansing your palate, and then boom, this funk, this sour comes on. It Last year it was total Sour Patch Kids, as I remember. This year, it's sour, but it's at the end, and it's subdued. Now where they say they got the sour turned way up, or turned up a little bit more, I guess. Um, man. 
This is a smooth, smoother uh, beer. Yeah, a little bit of cherry, a little bit of that rhubarb. It goes all mellow, and then it starts coming on. And it just slowly builds to a point, and then stays there. It does not just keep going up. This is really nice. This is a sour I could continue to drink. Um, the other one, man, if you look at my face in that review, I had the, the bitter beer face. Uh, it was That was some funk going on last year. Um, maybe it's the barrel aging and that, that wine barrel that uh, really brought things up. Um, what what I am thinking here, without the barrel, lower alcohol, I don't know if it's the lower alcohol, what it is. Anyways, this recipe, really smooth, really nice. Um, I don't know how sours age. If they mellow, if the funk comes up, I'm sure it's all tuned to the bread of my season, what it wants to do, and it lactobacillus. Um, I don't know. One more sip. The body is so, it's not thin in a bad way. It's thin though. It's smooth though. There's that funk, there's that sour and smooth then sour. It's like a champagne with very tart raspberries. It's this these tiny bubbles in your mouth. Um, it is tart rhubarb with something smoothing it out. Um, nothing sweet about it, just smooth. Um, I really like this. I really do. Um, 9.5. This is an awesome sour. Um, I've been just tuning up my skills in sours, but this one is awesome. Um, and I don't even know what I reviewed, put the four at last year. Um, I've got a five already in the cellar. It'll be fun next year to try to see this review and the other and try this as a two-year-old, try this as a one-year-old, and try Love Child number six. Um, Last time I reviewed it, Love Child number four, it was late June. This is early May when I'm doing this. I don't know if they released it early, because this stuff seems to move off the shelves. Last year, I got this, I think they marked it wrong. It was $9.99 a bottle, so I grabbed a few. Love Child number five, this was $16.99 a bottle, which is kind of the normal Boulevard big, uh, big bottle series around here. This is, it's well worth it. Um, gang, if you're getting Boulevard, um, grab it. Grab it and try it. I know last year some of you wrote that you hadn't tried it before. Find it, trade for it, whatever. I'm going to try to go find a couple more bottles. It's awesome. Um, if you've tried it, put some notes down. If you've tried the previous ones, I just wonder if people remember Love Child 1, 2, and 3, what kind of versions those were. Obviously there's differences from year to year. Um, put some notes down below. Um, I appreciate all the comments every time. This is awesome. I'm going to enjoy this all night tonight. Cheers, world.